Emily was so excited to be on her very first safari adventure in Africa. She was bouncing in her seat as the jeep rumbled down the dusty dirt road, keeping her eyes peeled for any sign of wildlife. Suddenly, their guide Jamal slowed the jeep and pointed up into a tall acacia tree. Look there, a young male leopard resting in the branches, he said. Emily strained her eyes and could just make out the leopard's beautiful spotted coat blended in with the dappled shadows. Why is he up in the tree? Emily asked. Jamal explained, Leopards often haul their food up into trees to keep them safe from scavengers like hyenas. He's probably digesting a recent meal and keeping cool in the shade while he rests. Emily was amazed that leopards had enough strength to drag heavy animals up so high. She remembered reading that one incredible leopard even hauled nearly 250 pounds up 18 feet into a tree. The jeep continued on, bumping over the rugged landscape. Jamal shared that leopards are actually strong and fast predators. They can run over 35 miles per hour when chasing prey, even faster than the fastest humans can sprint. Their speckled fur helps them blend into the dappled light and stalk close to antelope and monkeys without being seen. Suddenly, they spotted another leopard ahead, intently watching a grazing gazelle. As they drove closer, the gazelle looked up, startled, and took off running with the leopard right behind it. Emily watched, heart-pounding, as the gazelle leaped over a wide stream in a single bound. The leopard skidded to a halt at the water's edge, realizing its dinner was now safely on the other side. It peered across at the gazelle, lashing its tail in frustration. Wow, did you see how far that gazelle jumped? Emily exclaimed. Jamal nodded, explaining that leopards are talented jumpers too. They can leap 20 feet forward in a single pounce and jump 10 feet into the air to reach prey like monkeys in trees. Their incredible leaping ability helps make them such successful hunters. As the sun set, they headed back to camp. Emily couldn't stop thinking about the leopards she had seen that day. Around the crackling fire pit after dinner, she asked Jamal, how long do leopards usually live? Jamal told her that leopards can survive over 12 years in the wild. One captive leopard even reached the ancient age of 24. In some parts of Africa, leopards breed all year round. Females can give birth every one to two years, usually to a litter of two, four tiny spotted cubs. The cubs stay with their mother for up to two years as she teaches them how to hunt. Emily thought the cubs sounded absolutely adorable. She tried picturing what it would be like to have a leopard as a pet, stretching and playing in your living room. Jamal shook his head with amusement. Throughout history, leopards have been kept as exotic pets by ancient Romans, medieval kings, and even Hollywood stars, he said, but they are still wild animals at heart. Leopards once roamed all across Africa, Europe, and Asia. Today, they have disappeared from many areas but can still adapt to a wide range of habitats. Emily was fascinated to learn they can thrive in rainforests, deserts, snowy mountains, and even city outskirts if there is enough prey and vegetation. As Emily snuggled into her cozy sleeping bag that night, she dreamed of leopards showing off their incredible speed, strength, jumping, and climbing abilities. She imagined herself watching leopard cubs play fight and try little roars. She woke up smiling, excited for another day of adventure. Who knew what amazing animals they might spot next? Emily loved learning about wildlife from guides like Jamal. She hoped that by understanding these creatures better, more people would want to help protect leopards and all the other species that make our natural world such a magical place.